Okay, hi Nicole, how you doing? So we have got your work up and running. Let's take a look at something. First thing I notice is an inconsistency in the presentation of your logo. So as we can see over here in your logo, you have that wonderful logo right now. Honestly, Nicole, I, I, that outer circle got really thick. I don't know how that happened, but it's thicker than it was last iteration. I also think that as we take a look at the logo, right now it's too close to your letter forms. I would open the circle up a little bit, bring that, get some air in that inside that logo there. And also the stroke size is too thick for the letter forms and for the, the fraction bar. So I would definitely reduce that stroke size a little bit. So we have this wonderful logo. I think this is fabulous. The, 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 um, the uh, typography associated with the, the mark itself is gorgeous. But then we go over here to the, the business card and the typography has changed. Now your logo has changed. You have the logo on top and your your typography below so you, you're, you're kind of compromising your branding right there a little bit i would definitely compose that business card um horizontally so that you can mimic that presentation right there for your for your the front of your business card you can just duplicate that for the front of your business card and then in the back of your business card um you know you're, you're introducing something here that has not been introduced before and that's a diagonal line and we don't see that anywhere in your initial branding. We don't see that anywhere in your initial branding, but we do see a vertical line. So we can use the vertical line, I think. Um, and one of the things I would recommend using the vertical line to add that kind of continuation in here is I would, over here on the back, I would get rid of that whole color bar right there and I would just present your name right here and then use that vertical bar right there between your name and the contact information. That'll create that continuation you're looking for. And then over here in the letterhead, we can take that same idea continuation. This is too much, it's too heavy. It's, we have, again, that's just something brand new. We haven't seen it. It doesn't really have anything to do visually or uh, thematically or conceptually with your logo. So I say well, that gets voted out off the island. And then um, what you can do here is just keep that composition right there. Take your contact information all right, and you can use that vertical bar right there, and then you can put your contact information underneath it, or you can you can um, present your contact information in that color, and that will just kind of mimic and associate that vertical bar anyway. So they'll create that continuation you're looking for. One final comment is that you know you, they're still everybody still recommends that you use your in your contact information, your telephone, your proper address your email, and then your URL if you have one. Um, but yeah, they're still recommending you use your, your proper address as well. So food for thought. Okay, um, awesome job. Love the logo. Really love it, man. It's just really so gorgeous. Very nice work. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Thank you, Nicole.